Welcome to a new video! In this video you will learn how to crochet this cute amigurumi pumpkin. If you prefer to follow a written pattern you'll find the free version linked in the description. To make this cute amigurumi pumpkin you will need some yarn. I'm using a recycled cotton yarn called Karma Cotton. And you'll need a crochet hook. I'm using a 3.5 millimeters crochet hook, a pair of scissors, a darning needle, and some stuffing. You also need to know how to crochet a magic circle, single crochets, increases, decreases, and half double crochets. If you don't know how to do these stitches, go to my channel, look them up, and come back to this video later. Okay, let's start with a magic circle with six single crochets. And I'm doing it with two chains and in the second chain from the hook I make six single crochets, but you can do it you can choose and pick your favorite method of making a magic circle. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, on the second row we are going to make six increases, so one increase in each stitch until we have 12 single crochets. going to continue increasing and making one single crochet and one increase and repeat that six times until we have 18 stitches. the fourth row we are going to crochet two single crochets and one increase and repeat that six times until we have 24 stitches. to crochet three single crochets and one increase and repeat that six times until we have 30 stitches.
on the one, two, three, four, five, sixth row, we are going to crochet four single crochets and one increase and repeat that six times until we have 36 stitches. seventh row and the last increase row we are going to crochet five single crochets and one increase and repeat that six times until we have 42 stitches stitches and it's time to build some height for our pumpkin so for the next five rows we are going to crochet one single crochet in each stitch all the way around so 42 stitches on each round for five months number 12 your pumpkin should look like a cup and now it's time for some decreasing to shape this into a ball so on row number 13 we are going to crochet five single crochets and one decrease and repeat that six times until we have 36 stitches
On the next uh, row, we are going to crochet four single crochets and one decrease until we have 30 stitches. On the next row, we are going to crochet one, two, three, four, three single crochets and one decrease and repeat that six times. And by the end of this round, you should have 24 stitches. On the next row we are going to crochet two single crochets, one decrease, repeat that six times until we have 18 stitches left. Okay, guys, only two rows left. Uh, on the next one, we are going to crochet one single crochet and one de decrease and repeat that until we have 12 stitches, which is six times. So repeat that six times. Before we crochet the last round of our pumpkin, let's stuff it. But be careful, do not stuff it too firmly because then it might be a bit tricky to shape it later. So uh, you can actually keep it pretty soft. Mm. 
might seem that I'm stuffing <laughs> this pumpkin a lot, but my stuffing is really, really soft. So my amigurumis eat a lot of it. But I think let's just put this last bit and then we just decide that this is good enough. So as you can see, it's really, really soft still, but because we are shaping it with some yarn, it needs to be a little bit softer than if we wouldn't be shaping it later. So on the last round, we are going to crochet six decreases until we have six stitches left, which will be six times. So let's do that. Great, let's cut off the yarn and wave in the ends. So I'm just sewing through the front loops of all these six stitches to close the hole. This makes the end look really neat and pretty. Like this. And then I just wave it in And this will get covered by our greeny leafy thing. So don't worry if you feel that there is gaps between your decreases, for example, or it looks messy because nobody will know. shape it while we are at it and after that we will go and make the top leaf part of the pumpkin for the shaping you need some yarn this is maybe 40 centimeters or something like that and a darning needle and we are going to poke through from the bottom to the uh, magic circle that we made and leave the yarn end at the top and then we are going to go through our top again and down through the magic circle and then we're going to pull You can pull the tighter you pull, the more shape you'll get on your pumpkin. And let's do it one more time.
five bumps on my uh, pumpkin but you can do more or less if you want to like this and then we are actually going to poke this one down and tie a knot to get it really firm. And then you can just with your fingers shape it a little bit as you would like. And then we have our pumpkin shape. And depending on how much stuffing you had, uh, if you have had less stuffing, these uh, bumps will look bigger and the more stuffing the smaller or um, not the the less bumpier they will look so but yeah this is how you shape a pumpkin and then I just finish everything off by tying a knot which I just did and pulling through the yarn ends and then just cutting off the yarn with this is just so that nothing nothing will frog itself you never know okay it's time to make the leafy part of our pumpkin and we will start off with a magic circle with six single crochets. And I'm making this part green but as usual you can pick whatever color that you like. Maybe make a pink and purple one or a yellow and orange pumpkin. Let me know down in the comments what colors you have picked for your for your pumpkins and what you are going to do with them when you have when you are done. One, two, three, four, five, and one more. Okay, so for the next two rows, we are going to crochet one single crochet in each stitch so six single crochets for two rows This is how your little green thing will look like so far after two rows with only one single crochet in each stitch. Now it's time for some increases and we are going to crochet six increases and by the end of this round you will have 12 stitches. So one increase. And on the last row we are going to crochet in only the front loops of your stitches and we are going to start off with skipping the first stitch and making five half double crochets in the second stitch. So one Three, four, 
and five. Then we are going to skip the next stitch and make a slip stitch in the following one. And now we have this little scalloped thing. Uh, next we're going to do is to skip the next stitch and make five half double crochets in the following stitch. Remember only in the front loop. This is because we want to have the back loops for the assembling. One, two, three. Four. And five. And skip the next stitch and make a slip stitch. And now we have a second scallop and we have one more to do so skip the next stitch and make five half double crochet in the following And then skip the last one and make a slip stitch. Sorry, skip the next one and make a slip stitch in the last one. And now we have three cute little leaves and a middle thingy. Let me know if you have a proper, proper <laughs> name for this part. I don't. So let's cut off the yarn. Save some so that you have something for the assembling. I saved maybe 25, 30 centimeters. And we will wave in the first yarn end. pull your magic circle tight so that you don't have any oh. Okay, let's assemble our pumpkin. So pick the side that you think is prettier, uh, hide the one that you think is uglier. <laughs> and the only thing we have to do is uh, sew the leaf part onto our pumpkin. You don't have to stuff anything because the part is so small, but I told you that we needed the back loops for the assembling. So when you sew, we are going to sew through the back loops. This makes it pretty easy. I also highly recommend you to take a couple of pins and pin the leaf part in place, just so that you will Get it in, get it in the place that you want, in the middle, in the center of 
your pumpkin. These pumpkins, by the way, makes great uh, pin cushions if you are a sewer or <laughs> just need a pin cushion. Or maybe you know somebody that would need one or would like a pumpkin pin cushion. So here I take a back loop, pull the yarn through and stitch it together with the pumpkin. There is no right or wrong way to do this. The main thing is that they will stick together. <laughs> you have made a super cute amigurumi pumpkin if you enjoyed this pattern you will probably also like my other patterns i have a link to my whole pattern library in the description thank you so so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye